I pray for that person that your amen will be greater. I declare in the name of Jesus, according to the law of God, your God will not forget you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I say your God will not forget you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I say your God will not forget you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I declare by the order of God, everything in creation, they are supposed to work for us. By the order of God, it will start working in the name of Jesus. Amen. Can the amen be louder? Amen. Father, we want to thank you for the sixth day of the nine, seven nights of possibility. We want to thank you for your awesome power. Thank you for the name that you bear. Thank you because you are the one that you have been called Lord and you are always God. Thank you for the first day, second day, third, fourth, fifth. And today, six is the spiritual number of man. When God wants to do anything, when it connected to six, it makes that things will work. We thank you, Lord, because on these six days, you are going to do everything that has to do with us. We declare by your power, by your order, that today, you will do that thing that you need to do in our lives. In the name of Jesus. Amen. As your amen is louder, I prophesy. By the order of God, let God do everything that have to do with us. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Glory. Can you tell somebody, say, I have a God. That we never fail. Can you announce to another person? Say, I have a God that we never fail. Announce to the last person, say, I have a God that we never fail. We are going to turn this to song. I have a God that we not fail. We are going to sing it very loud and it must be clearer. Says, I have a God who never fail. Do you know it? Do you know it very well? Then we are going to sing this song together. You tag something to it. That on that matter that my God will not fail. And before you know it, God will do it and he will not fail you. Is that clear? We are going to sing that song very well. I have a God who never fail. I have a God who never fail. I have a God who never fail. Jesus never fail. Jesus never fail. Forevermore, I have a God who never fails. Hallelujah! I have a God who never fails. Sing it louder. I have a God who never fails. Who never fails. Jesus never fails. Forevermore, I have a God who never fails. I have a God. I have a God. Oh yeah! I have a God. Hey man, hey talk something that you see as something that is very difficult in you, and let that song go. Say on this matter, I have a God that will not fail. Here it is on Sunday. You were taught that God is the only one that can make it work, isn't it? Yes. And when God's turn to make it work, it's going to be the perfect will of God. And you are going to sing that song. I have a God who will never fail. Are you ready to sing that song? I have a God who never fails. Aha! I have a God who never fails. Sing it now. I have a God who never fails. Jesus never fails. Jesus never fails. Clap your hands now. Oh yeah! Oh. I have a God who never fails. Oh yeah! Oh. Never fail, Jesus never fail. Sing, I have a God who we never fail. Aha! I have a God. Hallelujah! I have a God. Jesus never fail. Point us on somebody. Say, You have a God. You have a God who never fail. You have a God. You never fail. You have a God, you never 
never fade. Jesus never fade. Jesus never fade. So another person, you have a God who never fades. Uh -huh. You have a God. Sing it out. Jesus never fail, Jesus never fail forever. Another person out, you, you have, have a God, God who never fail. You have a God who never fail. You have a God who never fail. Jesus never fail, Jesus never fail forever. Say, hey, man. Amen. Matthew chapter 15, verse 13. I want you to shout this word. You write this word very well. It's going to do something miraculous in you. Going to go to that scripture. Matthew chapter 15 verse 13. Please, I want everybody to read these scriptures together. And something great is going to happen. I want us to read it together. Can we read it together? I want to go. But he answered and said, Every plant which... My heavenly father has not planted, shall be rooted up. Can you say it again? Say, but he answered. But he answered. Can your voice be louder? But he answered. Ladies and gentlemen, let your voice be louder. But he answered. And said. And said. Every plant, every plant which my heavenly father, which my heavenly father has not planted in me, has not planted in shall me, be rooted up. Shall be rooted up. Shall I die here, man? Amen. Say, but he has Oh, I want your voice to be louder. No, hear this. Hear this very loud. Hear this very clear. The word of the Lord says, but he has Now, hear this. They are saying to you that you are a barren woman. They have said to you that you are just jobless, good for nothing. They also announce concerning your matter that nothing can happen in your life. They also said in their heart that you are going to die being limited, never rise. They also said to you that cry that you have been crying over the years, you will not stop crying perpetually. But hear the word of God say in that scripture. Can we hear the, can we show that scripture right now? But, but he answered, hear this. Upon everything they have said concerning you. You know what God is saying? But Jesus answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly father has not planted shall be what? Rooted up. Now, they said to you, you will die without hope. But he answered. That is a plant that I have not planted. They said to you, had many value to yourself in school, but you will not be good in the, in the world. You are going to be a local jingo, but a answer. Hey, they said that you are going to get a business, but your business will not work, but a answer. That every plant, they said to you, that you will die single. As a matter of fact, your name will be wiped off from the head. But he answered that every community together now want to go. But he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly father had not planted shall be rooted up. Read it three more times. But he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly father has not planted shall be rooted up. I want your voice to be louder. Now I want to go. Say it one more time. Say amen. Amen. Then I want your amen to be louder. I, I pray in the name of Jesus. Every seed of forgetfulness that is being sown in your life. When a pass supposed to link to you, they will suddenly forget you. I pray in the name of Jesus. Let it be rooted up in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray to that one that your amen will be louder. You have been working to serve people. But there is no gain in your service. But Jesus answered, that is evil plant. But he said, every plant that is not planted, every root, every seed that is not planted, Harvest of sorrow 
There are people sinning in you. I command in the name of Jesus. Oh, you be rooted out in the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody is under the sound of God to me. Anytime there are people supposed to say thank you. Their thank you is get out of good, great position. And it has been happening in your life. If your amen can be louder, it's a seed that God has not planted with your louder amen. Oh, yeah, let God take it out of you in the name of Jesus. Amen. You have one child, and you have been seeing that it's like you are going to end up having only one child. And you need more children. I pray in the name of Jesus. Let every seed of recurring sorrow, of, of not being fertilized again, let that seed be paralyzed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Can somebody shout out that amen to that? Amen. Can somebody shout out that amen to that? Amen. Pray this prayer. Say every plant. Every plant. Can your voice be louder? Every plant. That my heavenly father. That my heavenly father. Elisha my shout now. Say every plant. Every plant. That my heavenly father. That my heavenly father. Have not planted. Has not planted. Say what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? In my life. In my life I, come out, I come I out. want everyone to shout. God is not the respecter of anybody. So I beg you shout. If you don't shout you are on your own. I pray and pray for myself and my for my family. Say every plant, every plant that my heavenly father, that my heavenly has, father not planted, has not planted concerning my life. Concerning my as I'm clapping my hands, oh yeah, pull down by fire, pull down by fire, pull down by fire, pull down by fire, pull down by fire. Pasa kapala posa tayo na lobo sa. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, pull down by fire, 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 pull person you are connected to this prayer I don't know anywhere you are in that country you have gotten there before you get to that country things work but on getting there you are not finding things difficult in your life but the Lord is saying is the evil seed don't I prophesy concerning that evil seed in the life of that person let God help it in the name of Jesus Amen Please, I want everybody to rule. Say every evil seed in my life. Every evil seed in my life. Ladies and gentlemen, may I require that you shout very loud. Every evil seed in my life. That is affecting my moving forward. That is affecting my moving forward. Say enough is enough. Enough is enough. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? I command in the name I of Jesus. I command in the name of Jesus. Approved by fire. Approved by fire. Hear this. There are seeds. That will not germinate because the head refused to approve them. Then I pray. Every evil seed in the order of your life that is fighting the head to spring forth. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. Let that evil seed be uprooted in the name of Jesus. Amen. I declare in the name of Jesus. That seed will not form step in the name of Jesus. Amen. That stem will not form root in the name of Jesus. Amen. That root will not develop tree in the name of Jesus. Amen. That tree will not develop branches in the name of Jesus. Amen. That branches will not yield fruit in the name of Jesus. Amen. I prophesy in the name of Jesus by the word of God. Let everything that is not of God in your life hold oh, your root. Amen. Let's go back to that scripture. But he said, he answered and said, there is somebody here, God will answer for you. Can somebody say, say, God will answer for me. God will answer for me. Say, and he answered and said, no matter what they have thoughts concerning your life, they are thinking that you started well, but you will not end well. He answered and said, every plant, mean that, some people plant that thing. It has been plant, planted many years ago. But he said, though it, it's been planted, but not by me. And he said, because it is not by me, you cannot remain single. People are counting years over you. In the morning, one of my daughters in the Lord called, my daughters in the Lord called me in tears. I said, Daddy, Somebody said to me, 
that I'm the one that retains sickness in me. But I tried all I could. And she was crying. I said, because you are crying, because devil is a winner over you. Until when you disapprove the right of the devil, devil wants you to cry, and you are doing exactly what he wanted you to do. And I said to her, by the grace of God, that same therapy that I give to her, I'm going to give to us in one of the Sunday services, maybe this Sunday. It's going to be a great therapy that will make everyone to come out of the season of tears and you will come into your season of merriment. Amen. Is that okay? But he, an enhancer. An say an enhancer. An Concerning my life. And say every plant that my heavenly father has not planted shall be rooted up. Say so therefore. So therefore, seed of sorrow. Seed of sorrow. Say so therefore. So therefore, seed of agony. Seed of agony. Say so therefore. So therefore, seed of no gain. Seed of no gain. Say so therefore. So therefore, seed of effort without reward. Seed of effort without reward. Say so therefore. So therefore, seed of agony. Seed of agony. Say so therefore. So therefore, seed of continuous pain. Seed of continuous pain. Over my life. Over my life. Say, so what are you waiting what for? What are you waiting for? Because the Lord said, the Lord said that, that every, plant every plant that my heavenly father, my heavenly father has, not planted, has not planted is rooted up. Rooted up. Say, so therefore, so therefore, I gain my freedom. I gain my freedom. Can somebody shout out of him? Amen. Can somebody shout out of him? Amen. I pray for that person under the sound of God through me. I receive it. When morning comes, it's as if nine should come immediately. And at night, it's as if the day should break. Here it is. When, you, when your night comes, it's like the day the day is far. Because you don't even know what to do when it comes to day. You have been following that route, that routine. How you are saying? Each time, as like there is sickness coming over your body because you don't even know where to go. You have fit to go. You have wisdom to do what it takes to do anything you want to do. But there is a problem in you. You don't even know what to do. But the Lord is saying, in that midst of confusion, I will show up for you. Amen. Can that person say loud at him, eh? Amen. Can that person say loud at him, eh? Amen. Lord, he say, in that midst of confusion, I don't know that area of your life, you have to say, how I wish that my God would do it this time. But another time never come. The Lord is saying, tonight, being the sixth day, it will show up for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. That is, a, that is one of the plants that the Heavenly Father has not planted. But the Lord is saying, it's rooting it up in the name of Jesus. Amen. Can that your head may be louder? Amen. Isaiah chapter 55 verse 4 to 5. We are going to read this scripture very important. Isaiah chapter 55 verse 4 to 5 says, Behold, I have given him for a witness to the people. The word witness here means that you are going to be the mouthpiece of Jesus. In other words, people must see the right of God in your life and glorify your God. Part of the things that make people to see the hands of God in your life is for you not to walk in poverty, but for you to walk in liberty. When you don't sound liberty very well, people might mistake poverty for liberty. But the Lord is saying, for you to be my witness, for everyone to know that you are my witness, meaning that there must be good in you. I pray for that person as I pray for myself. As the witness for God, everything that is not making us to laugh, I pray, God will root it out up in the name of Jesus. Amen. Can that hey, may be louder? Hey, Amen. 
Ladies and gentlemen, can that hear me be louder? Hey, man. Say concerning me and my family members. Concerning me and my family members. We are the witness. We are the witness unto the Lord. Unto the Lord. And the word of the Lord say, a leader and commander mm. to the people. Mm. When God call you a commander, you are not supposed to be under anybody. Sometimes ago, last week Wednesday, a particular sister came, and God mentioned a name of. A brother. And I said to her, who is this person? And the sister says, it's my brother. One, the Lord says, it's sickness from this person. They are coming from Osogo, Osun State, Nigeria. They have transferred that sickness to this one. This one is healed. And they were shouting. And I said, we are going to pray. Number two, the life of this one I mentioned is meaningless, not meaningful. And I said to her, Tell that one the Lord is saying that what he do with his hand is what I'm going to bless him with. He's not going to work on that people for a long time. As a matter of fact, his, his time with working on that somebody is expired. And I said to her, tell him to call me. And when the brother called me, the Lord said, brother, choose three things you want to do. Let me pray on one. Then God will do it. And you know what he said? I want to travel abroad. I say, don't they tell you, I believe they have told you that you are not supposed to work under anybody. He said, yes. I said, go in bro. What do you want to go? And? To go and wash dead body and wash plates. And begin to do jigulu. And I said, God said to me, you are not supposed to work under anybody. Meaning that, well, there are some people, they are going abroad. It's going to be with dancing. Is somebody listening to this? A lot of people fall their self over there. And now they are regretting. As a matter of fact, why they are not returning back to their country is because of shame. They don't have anything to show. The only thing they can show is on uh, social media. They will look at them and they look so beautiful. They will go and look for a beautiful place to snap picture. But there is nothing beautiful about them. And I said to him, wake up. You are still sleeping. Let somebody pinch you and say, wake me up. Wake, slap me. Wake me up. I say, you are still sleeping. The Lord is saying, you are not supposed to work under somebody. And you want to put yourself under bondage. Start from where you are. Hear this. When the Lord is saying, your journey will begin from your village. Return back to the village and start the journey. Is somebody listening to this? Return back to where? To the village. A particular man came, a pastor. I said, sir, yes, you have a call. But you cannot succeed in calling in your calling in Lagos State. The Lord is saying, He's returning you back to your village to start your calling from your village. And say, Anything God says, I say, Sir, go and pray for confirmation. Say that anything God says, I am ready for it. I say, Good. Some people will say, It must be Lagos. If God is not calling you to Lagos and you go to Lagos, you are wrong. If God is not calling you to UK, to Oklahoma, you are wrong. When it's supposed to be in Oregon doing business and you go to Oregon, there is a problem. I pray today. There are lots of people that miss their link. They miss their right. And this is the reason. Purpose is not being established over them. I pray in the name of Jesus. If you have missed your link, I pray. Let the purpose of God be established. Amen. Oh Lord, we are allowed to tell. The Lord is the adjuster. It's the one that adjust. I pray in the name of Jesus. To that area of your life. Let God readjust it in the name of Jesus. Hey. Somebody you are watching this or you are hearing this. You are saying it is like he, as if things should turn around. And you should start from the beginning. But hear this. There is a problem. But the Lord is saying. Alone turn really. is the one that puts an end to any problem. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. And I pray for myself. Every form of problem in the order of our life. Oh yeah, let God set it in the name of Jesus. Amen. I said, let God set it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Be clear, he said, oh Lord, my father. Oh Lord, my father. I connect back to my missing link. I connect back to my missing link. Shout Lord, amen. Amen. A lady came here some times ago, one Wednesday, and I said to her sister, why did you, why do you stop schooling? And she said, I'm in university year four. I said, God cannot lie. 
I saw you writing, but suddenly you stop. She said, I'm in year one, uh, year four. I said, let me tell you something. What is that particular cost you want to do that has been in you for many years? They are because of one mark you change. And she mentioned it. I said, God is saying, until when you do that course, nothing will happen here. There are a lot of graduates that they go into school, but not attending to original course that they're supposed to do. And this is the reason. Immediately they finish from school, nothing is working. There will be witness in the house. Yes, sir. You want to go and read statistics? And because of Mark, ah, I'm late, I'm delayed. You go and read English. It can't work. Is somebody listen to me. Yes, there are some people, a forceful hand will point them to, that is the mixing link you are going to take God. Every missing link of my life. Can you shout now? Every missing link of my life. This one, no be devil do him, now you do him. Some people say, power in my father's house that did not allow me have been graduating, have been a graduate for so many years. It's not the fire in your father's house. It's because your destiny is against what you have chosen. I hear this. You have to pray for divine readjuster to readjust your life. Amen. Amen. You're supposed to read biochemistry and you go to school and study biology. Do they relate? No. No. And by the time they finish, it will be very difficult to, to defend that because they struggle to pass through that. The original thing is somewhere. That is their missing link. There are some people, they have told them that your marriage, you're supposed to marry to a particular person. But in their mind, they want six feet tall. And when God is saying, somebody you must marry is half or personality, half. And he will say, I can't marry to that person. Hear this. There are lots of people that their husband is a carpenter. And they are looking for a master holder. Is somebody getting this right? Yes, sir. God cannot do mistake in connecting people. No. The only person that can do mistake is man. Some people, God will say, that one that carry you as a taxi driver, there is a potential in that person. If you marry to this person, through you, this one will go to university and become great and you live together. But some people always ending their journey at the picture they are seeing. They don't look at the future in what they are seeing. I pray in the name of Jesus. From that missing link in your life, hold your let there be divine readjustment. Amen. Are you ready to declare? Say from that missing link of my life. For that missing link of my life. Can you declare very loud? For that missing link of my say, life. Say, oh Lord, my Father. Oh Lord, my Father. I call for readjustment. I call for readjustment. Shout out the heaven. Amen. Do you know, even as I'm a pastor, some people still desire to marry me. They know my wife and they know my children. I remember a particular lady called me, said, Daddy, I am lost in concerning a particular person in the church. Okay? I don't know. I said, Ha! Is he a single? If he's a single, you are not lost. Maybe God is telling you something. I said, No, sir. He's a married man. Married man? Yes. I said, Ah, that is serious loss, too. I said, Tell me who that person is. Let me investigate. I said, Daddy, I will not tell you. I said, if you don't tell me, that means you are not my daughter. I said, Daddy, it's you. I, said, I quickly called my wife. I said, come and hear what I'm hearing. Now, hear this. There are some people that the pits of hell will just come to their mind. They begin to pursue shadow. See, he was pursuing shadow. She was doing what? Pursuing shadow. Until when she run mental. Maybe she didn't stop when I asked her to stop. She tried all things. She run mental. But God deliver her. I pray. Any wonder you are missed out from one area of your life. And to meet up in your life is not becoming difficult for you. I prophesy by the order of God. 
Hey, Amen. Amen. I want you to declare. Say from that missing leak in my life. From that missing leak in my life. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to pray very loud. Close your eyes so you can see to the realm of the spirit. Pray. Say, oh Lord, my father. I command in the name of Jesus. Connect me back. Shout loud at him, eh? Hey, man. I've said to you that six is the number of what? Man. So, you can pray to readjust something. Your destiny helper in the house. Your divine protector is in the house. The Lord that can hack into the system of your life and command with a total command and make things work is in the house. Let me say this to you. I don't know why I'm going this way, but the Lord is saying, He wants to, He's ready to set you a lot of life here. Amen. People watching online, I want to congratulate you. So you join people here and declare because God is going to do something. This is foundational breaking prayer. Missing link is a foundation. When you're supposed to follow here, you said, No way. Do you know something happened to Lot? Lot missed it. I know what happened in the life of Lot. Lot chose the best and left the uncle to be ridiculed. But by the grace of God, God do something miraculous in his life. When he's supposed to die, the divine readjuster readjusts his life. So I don't know he's listening to me. Who is listening to this? You miss it somewhere. And you don't even know how it happens. And you have been struggling to connect back. The Lord is saying to me, he will connect you back tonight. Amen. I said the Lord is saying to me, it will connect you back tonight. Amen. Oh my God. I said the Lord is saying to me, it will connect you back tonight. Amen. Oh, somebody you are hearing me. Because your eyes is on sweet things. You engage in wrong marriage and now you are out of that marriage. Everything is gone from you. But the Lord is saying, by his new order, new order, I'm hearing a new order. By his new order, he said, We connect you back. So I prophesy. Let the heavenly father connect you back. Amen. The Lord asked me to tell that family all your siblings, including you, nothing is working. Your family, where you came from, is like the rich man of yesterday. But now, no more better story. The one that's supposed to lift up the banner of the family is being destroyed. But the Lord is saying, there is hope for a tree. There is what? Still hope for a tree. So the Lord is saying, I should announce the hope for your family. Amen. So please, I want your amen to confirm this. Where hope is lost in your family is a, is a, is a missing link. I pray in the name of Jesus. Oh yeah, let God connect it back in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord is saying, I should tell somebody every secret behind your case connected to idolatry. The Lord is saying, He will reveal it to you. Amen. And He will destroy it. Amen. And lady, you are here. Anytime men see you to marry you, they see the image of your mother in you. In other words, they look at you as an old person. The Lord is saying, I'm bringing out your beauty tonight. Amen. Let every single in the house shout out at him and now. By the order of God, I don't know that image that house your body. But the Lord is saying, I should tell you, many are the affliction of the righteous, but he delivered them all in hell. I pray in the name of Jesus. Let God connect you back in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I say, let God connect you back in the name of Jesus. Amen. I say, let God connect you back in the name of Jesus. Amen. 
That scripture in Isaiah chapter 55 verse 4. So for the five say, Behold, thou shalt call a nation that knew not thee. And the nation that didn't know you, they will run to you because your God, your God, your God is the only one of Israel. And he has glorified him. The beauty of the Lord will not depart from us. Amen. Can somebody shout out that amen to that? Amen. Say, beauty of the Lord will not depart from me. Beauty of the Lord will not depart from me. Psalm 138 verse 7. Psalm 138 verse 7. Tonight, say, tonight is my night. Tonight is my night. Can we read these scriptures together? One to go. Though I walk in the midst of the trouble, thou will revive me. Thou shalt stretch forth thy hand against the rod of my enemies, and thy right hand shall do what? Save me. Can we read it together in case you don't read it very loud? One to go. Do I walk in the midst of trouble. Thou will revive me. Thou shalt stretch forth thy hands against the rod of my enemies, and thy right hand shall save me. He say he will revive you. The word revive come from the word reviver. In other words, the life is being relegated. You are just the shadow of your identity. But the word of the Lord is saying, he will revive you. Amen. The word of the Lord is saying, he will revive you. Amen. I pray for that person. Anywhere your life is being silenced to. And they are saying, from here, when you get up, you are going to die. Anyone that enemy capture, enemy will leave you with fear. Is somebody getting this? That when you stand up, you are going to die. And they are retained in that place. Because this is the same code they use against your parents. But I prophesy in the name of Jesus, arise! Amen. Shine! Amen. In case you don't get that, I say, arise! Amen. Shine! Amen. For your light is come. Amen. For my light is come. Amen. For our light is come. Amen. And the glory of the Lord Amen. is risen upon us. Amen. Can somebody say, I arise? I arise. Shout it very loud. I say, I shine. For my light has come. And the glory of my God is risen upon me. Shout loud at him. Psalm 18, verse 17. Psalm 18, verse 17. Very important. We read the scriptures together. I will get it right. Let's read it. One to go. It delivered me from my strong enemy. And from them, we hated me. For they were too strong for me. God will deliver you tonight. Amen. Let's go to 43 of that scripture. Psalm 18 verse 43. I want to combine the two together. And you know what God is up to tonight? 43 say. Thou hast delivered me from the striving of the people. And thou hast made me the head of the heaven. A people whom I have not known shall serve me. Amen. Can you read that scripture? Yes, sir. Read it very loud and clear now. Thou hast delivered me from the trembling of the people. And thou hast made me the head of the hidden. A people whom I have not known shall serve me. Amen. Can you shout out that? Amen. Amen. From tonight, when you go to right, people will serve you. Amen. When we go to left, people will serve us. Amen. All the children tonight that are here, I pray in the name of Jesus, as you are growing in the journey of life, people will serve you. Amen. I pray none of our children will be a beggar in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every agony in the year past that we pass through as parents, our children will not taste it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every pain in the past that we have passed through, 
Our children will not test it in the name of Jesus. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Isaiah chapter 49, verse 24 and 25. Isaiah chapter 49, verse 24 and 25. We are going to read this scripture very loud and clear. Are we there? Something great will happen. Let's read together. I want to go. Shall the prey be taken from the mighty? This word is very important. Pray is something that is being captured. The enemy, uh, the animal, like dog, might enter into a bush and take a cat. Isn't it? That is a prey. And the mighty men, they use men for their prey. But I say, is it possible for prey to be taken from the mighty? All the lawful captives deliver. 25 is the question. But hear what the word of the Lord is saying. But thus hear the Lord. Jesus said, but a answer. But thus hear the Lord. Even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away. Amen. No matter whosoever the head you burn. And for the year that has happened. I don't know about it. Because they lay hold on your parents and he switch them. And they said, let us go against the children. Ah. And now, the first son is being going for it. That They are looking for the second son to handle. And they are looking for the other daughter. But he said, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away. If you are shouting amen, shout amen now. Amen. And the prayer of the terrible shall be delivered. Amen. For I will contend with him that contended with him. Amen. Do you remember we pray for our children now? Yes, sir. I say, and I will save their children. Amen. I want us to read that scripture together, but I want your voice to be louder as the voice of achievers. Come read it together. I want to go. But thus hear the Lord. Even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away. And the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contended with him. And I will save thy children. Say, I am delivered. I am delivered. Say, the snare is broken. The snare is broken. I am escaped. I am escaped. My help is in the name of the Lord. Shout loud a hymn. Shout loud a hymn. Shall out of him. Amen. By the grace of God, today prayer say, killing the power of idolatry in your life. The Lord is here to kill every idolatry power in you. Amen. We are going to pray tonight. We pray all those prayers in the place. If you are joining us online, you are with the eating good fight. But if you are not, follow me as I follow Christ. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I said something here that the devil enticed people to come closer to him because he knows that he will only collect the best from them. If you are in the house, you are complete obedient servant to the devil. What of the Lord to you today is he will save you. Amen. Can your hear be louder? Hey, Amen. But before we go into that, God is saying he wants to deliver a lot of people. You know that your root is from occultic root. You came from an idolatry family and they are still serving that idol. Please, when we are praying, come out or you come out now. You came from the root of idolatry. Please come out and you know they are still serving idols in your family. Or your parents serve idols till they die. Please come out. You need to pray. Oh, prevention, you are here. You have gone to Yemiwo Enterprises. Baba, check me. Who I be? And they give you something. And they say, bring money from your hand. And you brought money from your bag. I done here. I done here. You know what it means? Speak to it. And you speak to it. Speak to that money. And you spoke to that money. And then and you return it to that abalist. Please come. And in this case, you have not been praying on it before. Tonight, God wants to say to you. Amen. Because this is part of the idolatry power fighting your life. But tonight, 
Heaven is say it will deliver you. Amen. I say heaven is say it will deliver you. Amen. Perventure is a man place to go. I just say something. I have covenant. And here is half covenant. You have covenant with money. And you just go. And you cast the money. And they will throw cowries on the floor for you. On the floor. They throw the cowries. And they say, hey, this is this. You need to wear this also cloth. How you begin to do that? Lift up your voice. Say every power of idolatry. Every power of idolatry. Ladies and gentlemen, can you shout very loud? Every power of idolatry. If you are in media, you are handling anything, this has happened to you, please let another person take over so you can join this prayer. Say every power of idolatry. Every power of idolatry. In my root. In my root. Can you shout very loud? Let your voice be louder. Say enough is enough. I command in the name of Jesus. Say you that power. That is stopping in my life. What are you waiting for? As I'm clapping my hands. Oh yeah, disengage. Die. Disengage. Die. You better clap your hands anyway. This is not praise and worship. It's a revival prayer. Aha. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. In the name of Jesus. Oh yeah. You better clap. You better clap. Disengage. 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 Oh yeah, disengage, disengage, die, disengage, die. Disengage, die, disengage, die, disengage, die. Say amen. I want you to declare, say, power of idolatry. Power of idolatry. That I involve myself in. That I involve myself in. Ladies and gentlemen, can you pray very loud? Power of idolatry. That I involve myself in. Or that I invited into my life. All that I invited into Say the enough is enough. Enough is enough. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting Hear for? Hear the word of God. Hear the word of God. By the power of the Holy Ghost. The of the Holy Ghost. Say concerning myself, concerning myself and for me. And say for what me. are you waiting for? What are you waiting As for? I'm clapping my hands. Oh yeah, catch fire, catch fire, catch, catch fire, fire, catch fire, fire, catch 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 fire, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, deliver me, O Lord. Deliver me, O Lord. Are you ready to sing? He said, deliver me, O Lord. Deliver me, O Lord. By your power. By your power. By your mercy. By your mercy. Deliver me, O Lord. Are you ready to sing it? Deliver me. Deliver me. Deliver me, oh Lord, by your power, by your mercy. Deliver me, oh deliver me, oh Lord. Deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, oh Lord. You better shout. By your power, by your mercy, deliver me, oh Lord. Oh yeah, I want to hear your voice now. Shout it, everyone, under the sound of God through me. Even you, you are connected through radio or through Facebook or YouTube. Shout it. Aha. Deliver me, oh Lord. Deliver me, oh Lord. Deliver me, oh Lord. Deliver me, oh Lord. Aha. 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 Oh, sing it now. Deliver me, oh Lord. Some people here because the time you are looking for children, you went to a particular place and they gave you a lot of concussion to eat and to drink. Please, God is saying He wants to deliver you today. Who are those people? Come to the front here. I want to anoint you, whosoever you are. When you are looking for children, maybe they give you water, they give you concussion, they give you anything. You drank it or you hit it. Who are those people among the people in the front? 
Come forward. Please be fast about that. All your home might not even be children. Two of you, come closer. Come to this altar. The Lord is saying, want to deliver you. It was altar that was used to arrest you. He wants to use the power of altar to deliver you tonight. Please let people surround this people because the hand of God will rest on them now. Say, O oh Lord, my Father. Can't shout it very loud. Say, hold on, my father. I command in the name of Jesus that every idolatry food that are fitting, I command in the name of Jesus by your power. In the name of Jesus, I punch it out, punch it out, punch it out, punch it out. Let the hand of God touch you one after the other now. Let the hand of God touch you now. I bring you out of that idolatry house. By the power of God, let the wind of the heaven flow upon your life. At the count of three. One, two, three. Let it flow now. Come take it. Take it, take it, take it. Aha. That the hand of God. That the hand of God. Let God punch it out of your body in the name of Jesus. There are strangers in your body to their food. The soldier strength may be held into your body. Kill the children that come into your body. I command the name of Jesus. Aha! Fire! 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 Punch it up! Aha! Fire! In the name of Jesus. Aha! 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 I command the name of Jesus. Let the hand of God come over the sister now. Aha! Like electric shock. Let the hand of God remove that food from your body. And electric food and electric water. Come out of your body. Let there be pains all over your body. Let the Jesus Christ. From your feet to your head. From your feet to your head. I command you I command it the food. You are fitting. I command. I I command. They fed you with it. And even as you are growing up, that has been the problem in your life. I command the name of Jesus. For your life, God, take it out of you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say, hey, man. People in the front, I want you to shout very loud and clear. Say, every idolatry power. Every idolatry power. In my life. In my life. Shout it very loud and clear now. Every idolatry power. In my life. Say enough is enough. Enough is enough. I command in the name of Jesus. I command in the name da, of Jesus. Da, 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 da. Congratulations, you can go back to your seat. Say hey man. Hey man. Can you shout that hey man very well? Hey man. Say help everyone now. I want you to shout very loud. Say every idol. Every idol that I've submitted to in the past. In the past. Ladies and gentlemen, can your voice be louder? Any idol that I've submitted to in the past. I break free from you in the name of Jesus. I break free from you in the name of Jesus. Shout louder, hey man. Hey man. I want somebody that you need deliverance in this place. Please, you shout. Say works of idolatry. Work of idolatry. That are troubling my life. That are troubling Say, my what life. are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? I command in the name of Jesus. I command in the name of Jesus. As I'm clapping my house. Oh, yeah, destroy. 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 Destroy.
form of idolatrous practice. Every form of idolatrous practice. From my root. From my root. That is working against everyone. That is working against everyone. In my family. In my family. Including me. Including Say, me. what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Die. 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 In the name of Jesus. It's a night of prayer. Pray. It's a warfare. Die. 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 Shout out a hymn. Say every form of imposed idolatry in my life. Every form of imposed idolatry in my life. I sentence you to death. I sentence you to death. Ladies and gentlemen, anywhere you are, I want you to shout. Every form of imposed idolatry in my life. Every form of imposed idolatry in my life. I sentence you to death. I sentence you to death. Can you shout out a amen? Amen. Shout out a amen. Amen. Shout out a amen. Amen. Say that passion. That passion. I have for idolatry. I have for idolatry. Can you shout it, ladies and gentlemen? That passion I have. Noily and unknowingly. Noily and unknowingly. Say, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Break out of my life. Break out of my life. Shout out, Amen. Amen. Say, works of idolatry. Works of idolatry. Can everybody shout it very loud? Works of idolatry. In my life. In my life. Say, works of idolatry. Works of idolatry. In my marriage. In my marriage. Say, works of idolatry. Works of idolatry. In my body system. In my body system. Say, works of idolatry. Works of idolatry. In my family. In my family. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Die by fire. Die, Die by fire. fire. Die, Die by fire. fire. Die Die fire. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Before we pray this prayer, I want to explain something to you about a particular brother that met with one chairman of a company on a particular mountain. And the man said, you have been so careful for me. I want to help you. Meet me in my office. And he gave him his personal card. Even when anybody see that card, they are going to approve the entrance to that place. And here it is. On getting to the office, on getting to the office, the man enter and met with the chairman. And you know what happened? The chairman shout, why do you allow mad person to come into my office? Because there is the voice of idolatry following that man up and down. As he walked through the, the, the gate, the, the mine at the gate, they didn't see him as a madman. The secretary gained the entrance, she, he gained the entrance through the secretary, they didn't see him as a madman. But when he got to where the helper sits, or seated, the helper looked at him. Why did you allow a madman into my office? It happens two times. And by the time they met again on that same mountain, the man said, I've given you my card, but you have not come to my office. What is wrong with you? You say, you're a graduate. Can't you defend your certificate? Say, sir, I have all my certificate, all my credentials. Show the man. Say, sir, do you remember one time somebody came to your office and you call him a madman? Say, I'm the one that you call a madman. I was angry because you called me a madman. And the man said to him, I didn't see you. I saw a madman. You are going to pray. Are you ready to pray? Yes, sir. <laughs> Is somebody here to pray? Yes, sir. Say, voice of idolatry. Voice of idolatry. Speaking from my root. Speaking from my root. To bring me down this year. To bring me down this year. Say, you will not succeed. You will not succeed. I want you to be aggressive about this. Say, voice of idolatry. Voice of idolatry. Speaking from my root. Speaking from my root. And speaking to follow me up and down. And speaking to follow Say, me up you will not succeed. You will not succeed. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah, waste away. Now. Waste away. Now. Oh, yeah. Waste away. 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 Jesus, name we pray. Hey.
I want the one that will be the achievers after this program to shout this very loud and clear. Say, voice of idolatry. Voice of idolatry. I love the way you shout it, but it can be louder. Say, voice of idolatry. Voice of idolatry. That I've been managing the affairs of my generation. Oh, I love this. Clap for yourself. Clap for yourself. Clap for yourself. Now, can you declare? Say, voice of idolatry. That I've been managing the affairs of my generation. Here it is. You know, men were late to see papa. Ten generations can be poor. And what is happening against them is the voice speaking in that generation. But the Lord is saying, that voice will come to an end tonight. Amen. Your generational blessing must locate you. Amen. Okay, my generational blessing will locate me. Amen. Are you ready to pray? Yes, sir. Say voice of idolatry. Voice of idolatry. That I've been managing the affairs of my generation. Enough is enough. Lose your rights. In the name of Jesus. Shout Lord of heaven. Amen. There are lots of people, the voice of idolatry speaking in their foundation will kill them. When there is nothing happening in their life, the voice will still speak to them. Go and hang yourself. Don't you know you are going to die in this way? Don't you know that it can never be better for you? Haven't you read that from your mother or your father? Don't you know that you have stayed for too long? Ten years. You have been waiting for ten years. You're supposed to marry ten years ago. And you are not married. Don't you know there is a problem? Go and hang yourself. There is a voice speaking. The voice you gain employment, and they will tell you, they will push you out of that place. You are going to the grave. And you have seen this in your generation. Say, voice of idolatry. Voice of idolatry. To manage the affairs of a thing is to take the totality of that thing. They handed over the right of that family to that idol. And it has been a problem. A particular pastor came. Before God asked us to give him money to go to where he's calling his. Say, God spoke to me that I have a calling, but not in Lagos. It is Jewel Jinari or something, something like that. And sir, so I don't have money. And by the grace of God, one of my daughters and the Lord that came from that place, I said to her, This man is going to your town for ministerial work. Please call your parents that he must, him and your wife must stay, and the wife must stay in your father's house. And by the grace of God, they accommodate those people and we give them money. But here it is. Why he found it difficult to succeed in ministry. Many years ago, it was like Moses that had not received the call from God and start doing the call of God. Here it is. <laughs> Seriously. I said, sir, there was a particular abomination that you committed many years ago. About a particular idol. He said, yes, sir, I know. I hate idolatry. And there is this stone that one man many years ago brought to our family. And they have been serving that stone from generation to generation. One day, I was hungry. And I picked that stone. And I threw it to the bush. And here it is. The stone returned back to the base. Thirty days. He has been working as no entity. I said, do you receive the call from God to throw away the stone? He said, no. I just threw it away because I hate it. I said, you don't do it. Ha! Huh? Don't you know the power that fortified that stone? You are not throwing away ordinary stone. You are throwing away human, a lot of destiny in that stone. There are lots of people that put their life inside that stone. And from generation, let's say one generation is 200 years. So for over five generations, like 1,000 years, they have been serving him. But a go, I just went there as a small boy. I said, ah, sir, I was very stubborn. I know that this is not good. I said, ah. Hey, for Gideon, to succeed, Gideon destroyed the altars of Bas in his father's house. Because 
the Lord said to him, go and destroy it. If you didn't hear the word, and you just go, and there is no backup, there is a problem. Lady called me yesterday, said, sir, in, in, in Benin, that pastor, somebody took me to a church, and the pastor said, that there is a problem, problem, somewhere, 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 but you need to go to your father's house and pick sand. And when you pray on that sand for three days, I will tell you where to throw it. And on getting to the house, she told this younger sister. And the younger sister said, Auntie, I didn't tell you because everybody run for Christian race. Me, I know say there is a problem in this family. But I have to go on my own. I make investigation. They said, I should also pick sand from my father's house. I pick the sand. By the time I pick it and I throw it where they say I should throw the sand, I ran mad. Like seven days, nobody see me in the house. I was running mad. But I didn't tell anybody. Say, so go and tell that pastor. Your younger sister said, this is what she passes through. Are you hearing something? When the power of God is not complete in a man, and you dear demons, demon will use less you. Say, so go and pick this hand. And you just pick this hand. And you throw it away. Ha! Ah! And you are not only. You didn't finish. You go make love. Ha <laughs> ha. Enemy will make you do nyanga. As a matter of fact, that night, as you just do it, you hand up in your boyfriend's house. Say, thank you, Jesus. And you enjoy overnight. When you enjoy overnight, devil is planning something. The second morning, they wait in my heart, never see. See, so when? Because that family, there is idolatry voice managing the affairs of that family. Hey! Here it is. If your forefathers agreed to a particular hold and say, me, you know, any word I want to enter into a they say, me, and everything that have to do with me, as I'm serving God now, I connect and I dedicated myself, my, my children and the unborn children that we issue from my seed, from my loins. I don't know about my father, but I change order from my father. I change my son name in the realm of the spirit to Oluwa, Oluwa. See, Atairo is the God Almighty, the one that came and repaired the world. I'm talking about Jesus. Now his name I am bearing now. So you call me Atairo, you are actually linking me to Jesus. Do you understand that? Because it's been changed in the realm of the spirit. So any negative things happening in that route cannot come to me. When I discover the voice of polygamy in my father's life, and I look at myself as I enter into ministry, I say, Lord, ha! What will I do? And I discover some of my siblings, they are also going in the trend of polygamy. I say, no, there is a voice of polygamy in this family. I must stop it. I remember many years ago when I wanted to engage in my marriage, I discovered that there was disagreement in my family. I entered into prayer. Everyone, no one wants to hear each other. I said, God, because of me, there must be agreement. For over 18 years or 28 years, I don't even know again, for that marriage has ceased from my family, God used me to brought back marriage, number one. And number two, brought back agreement to the hearts of people so we can share things together. They start sharing things together during my wedding. Because me, I know, there might not be agreement. I've already, I've already gotten everything for my marriage. They beg me to just buy little things. Because I know when there is no agreement in the family, whom do you go to? Eh? I plan my marriage by the grace of God and God make it work. But I silence the power of idolatry. And I pray, whosoever that will come that will cause this problem in my marriage, Lord, and won't come and say, I'm having running stomach. I say, good. Running what? Running stomach. Because I know the word that that one went against me. I understand what I'm talking about. But today, voice of idolatry managing the affairs of our family. Enough is enough. I command in the name of Jesus. Let that voice die in the name of Jesus. Hey. Amen. I can continue telling you over and over. If you 
If you are from polygamous family, you are in serious danger if you don't pray this prayer. Every woman that have issue with the second wife in polygamous family. Okay? They don't fight each other. They use the life of their children to manage the affairs of their crisis. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. And they don't fight their husband. There is no second wife, third wife, fourth wife that want the husband to die. No. Instead, you know, because of polygamy, a lot of wives will go to her palace just to fortify themselves. But they might not be able to fortify their children. And their children's life will begin to be the, with polygamy riots. This is the problem of so many people today. Are you ready to pray? Yes, sir. No matter what that voice of polygamy and the right of the enemy speaking in your marriage and monitoring or managing the affairs of your family, the heaven is silencing them tonight. Hey, Amen. Say so every idolatry voice. Every idolatry voice. Ladies and gentlemen, can you pray very well? Every idolatry voice. And the voice of polygamy. And the voice of polygamy. That have been managing the affairs of my generation. That has been managing the affairs of my generation. Say so enough is enough. Enough is enough. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? I command in the name of Jesus. Oh yeah, lose your back to lose, lose your back to lose your 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 lose 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 your lose your shout it shout it shout it lose 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 your lose your hey jesus name we pray hey Man. Say that occultic foundation. That occultic foundation that I was connected to. That I was connected to. That is saying. That is saying. It will not go back. It will not go back. It will not go back until I'm finished. Until I'm finished. Say you are a failure. You are a failure. Da. Da. Say every dowry. Every dowry that is being paid on my behalf. That has been paid on my behalf in the occultic world. In the occultic world. Say go back to your owner. Go back to your owner. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say every children representing my children. Every children representing my in children. In a cutting word. In a cutting Say word. what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Enough is enough. Enough is enough. I kill you now. I kill you now. Shall I hear me? Hey. There are lots of people they see and say breastfeeding children in the dream. Married to husband in the dream. Putting on crown in the dream. And they enjoy in the palace. Some don't even know their husband. There are lots of people like that. So I pray in the name of Jesus. Anything that is answerable to the to idolatry works in your life. I prophesy. Amen. Let the power of God frustrate them in your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Say idolatrous tongues. Idolatrous tongues. Monitoring my name. Monitoring my name. For evil. For evil. All the idolatry tongues mentioning my name for evil. Say, what are you waiting for? Cut off! Cut off. Say, every area I've offended God. Every area I've offended God. That is not clearer to me. That is not clearer to me. In the area of idolatry. In the area of idolatry. Say, I plead for mercy. I plead for mercy. Now, on behalf of everyone. On behalf of everyone. In my family. In my family. Including my parents. Including my parents. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Say, idolatry water. Idolatry water. That was used in baiting me. That was used to As a child. As a child. You may never understand the water that was used in baiting you as a child. Your mother will be able to tell you that. But because we don't need to ask them questions, we can pray aggressively and get settlement. Is somebody listening to this? This is the reason you are going to pray. Everybody must pray this prayer. Because you don't know when you were born and the water that was used for you, and you don't know when you will die. So you need to pray. Because. There is nothing you can do about that, but you can do something in the place of prayer. Sometimes you go out with some of my children in the Lord somewhere. We are together. And I said to them that, do you know that if your parents, some parents tell all the evil they have done on our behalf, under the, the guise of protection, we kill them. Some of them have a lot of hidden secrets. They ha! If you hear it, they are gone. 
Then they will manage it, they will, they will die. And this is the reason some parents will be telling children, please, I want to see Kubura. I mean called Kubura. Please, I want to talk to Jude. But here it is. By the time this set of people get there, they will not be able to see anything. Or do you have any Kubra in the house? Do you have anyone? Yeah, you saw Kubra. So they will not, okay, there's nobody. They, maybe God wants to deliver that person according to that need. So they will not be able to tell that person. You, are looking, you have somebody. Eh? Okay, they used to call you Kubra. Come now. Ah. When a name comes like that in the place of deliverance, every idolatry practice in your life that limits your stepping forward in life. I don't know what that has to do with you. That they still have their remaining property in your body. As I lay hands on you, Provincial could be the sense of hatred in your body all over. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. Let their property one after the other at the count of seven. I'm seeing something like corn. It's like corn on your inside. They prepare that corn for you and they call the name on it. But the power of the Holy Ghost is a form of protection that when they shoot you, God will not enter. I don't know what that one is used for, but I command in the name of Jesus. Come out! Amen. That property must leave. Amen. You once know with that name before God changed your name to Elisha. Man. So I prophesy in the name of Jesus. Let that property. I call them out right now. I visit the place where they did that. I link you to that root in the name of Jesus. Now I make your body to be uncomfortable right now. Because the image that is not of God that you don't know that still remains is coming out. So I prophesy in the name of Jesus. Let all these images come out one after the other. Aha. Come out. Come out. Everyone. Come out. 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 Come
anoint you tonight by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let the anointing of God come over your body. In Jesus' name, we pray. As God is walking on our place, everyone shout this. Say every area that idolatry water. It's used against me. It's used Say, against I command me. it in the name of Jesus. I, command the name I of destroy Jesus. it now. I destroy it now. Say, idolatry name. Idolatry name. Give it to me. Give it to that me. That is only known to the person that knew me. That is only known to the person that knew me. And my parents. And my parents. And that is fighting me. And that is fighting Say, me. Say, I erase that name. I erase that from name. Among my names. From among my in names. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Say, Jesus. idolatry my heart. Idolatry my heart. In my body. In my body. Say, enough is enough. Enough is enough. As I'm clapping my hands. Fire, wipe up, by fire. Hey, Jesus, they will pray. Amen. I want you to shout this loud prayer. This is the last prayer for tonight. Say, idolatry right. Idolatry right. Can somebody please help me to shout it very loud? God is touching that sister. God is touching her. God is touching her. You must permit that thing. You must permit them. One after the other. Permit them. Aha. Uh -huh. For me then, everything must come out of your body. It's coming out. Freedom will come into that body. Amen. Deliverance will come into that body. Amen. The personality of God will come into that body. Amen. Are you ready to pray? Say, I don't let you write. Shout it very loud now. Ladies and gentlemen, I beg you to shout. Standing on my way to the top. Say, what are you waiting for? Die. In Jesus' name. If you know that your father was a court, or your father is still a court, please come forward. Provincial, they have given you occultic material, occultic things. Please come forward, come forward. Stretch your hands. Please, if you, if you connect to that, please come forward. Are they the only three? I will anoint you tonight. And God will deliver you from occultic power. But I want you to pray first. Let the other people shift back. She's permitting it. That is good. That is good. That is good. That is good. She's permitting it. Yes. It's your set day. God is visiting that sister. That is it. Yes, yes. Shout it. Come out of her. That spirit of imbecile must leave her. There are three imbecile personality in that body. Yes. They call a name into your body called Kindy. They call that name into that body called Kindy. That name can be, I want you to leave this body. That is number one imbecile. Kubra also is an imbecile name. Give it to you. The third one, the name is not too clear. But these two have seen. And the third one, they are coming out. Pray this prayer very well. Say every idols of my parents. You are not shouting out like somebody that needs freedom. That is working against my life. Ladies and gentlemen, can you shout very loud? You are not even shouting. You are too comfortable with idolatry work. Say, enough is enough. I lose your right over my life. I destroy your interest. Concerning me. Shout out him, amen. Now say, if I'm the one that is being chosen after my father to be the custodian of that idolatry power, say, I reject it. Better shout it. Say, I reject it. Sometimes they will not tell you you are that person in charge. They will not tell you. Okay? You just discover that they will do initiation in the dream. So you need to pray. Say, every idolatry power from my root Starting from my grandfather to my great grandfather to my father, even my mother. Say, I reject you. 
I renounce you. I come against you. In the name of Jesus. Say, idolatry material that was used for me when I was growing up. Say, I command in the name of Jesus. As I'm clapping my hands. In the name of Jesus. Oh yeah, destroy by fire. Destroy by fire. Oh yeah. Destroy by fire. Destroy by fire. Matthew fifteen thirty six. But he answered and said. Every plant which my heavenly father has not planted shall be rooted up. This is the last prayer point. I pray by the order of God. Every plant, are you joining them, Pastor Amos? Hey, come to this. Don't, don't stand as a pastor. Come here. It's not you. It's from your foundation. Isn't it? So when you are coming out, come out quickly. Come out rightly. Is that okay? Sometimes when we are praying anything that concerns, that have to do with polygamy, I, even if I'm ministry, I've joined myself with you. So it's very important. If I'm ministry, administration is not touching me, then I'm not ministry. I'm just talking. Is that okay? There are some things that happen in our life that we suddenly find ourselves in that position. But we don't know what is happening. And we will be speaking. And we don't even know. Are you ready to pray? Say every idolatry right over my life. That is being accepted by my parents. Say what are you waiting for? I declare in the name of Jesus. As I'm clapping my hands. Oh yeah, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire. Catch in the name of Jesus. Aha. 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 Adolescence walking against this brother. I command the power of adolescence in you now. God wants to chase it out. Can you dare to touch part of your life? You look quite brand in your body. They say that you can conceive that, you can maintain that right. As I lay my hands on you, the name of Jesus, by the power of God, at the count of seven, I chase away the power. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Come out! Come out! Your root, I command the name of Jesus. The one that sent us to the motion, you make nothing to work for you. By the power of the Holy Ghost, when I saw Jesus to you, let the power come out. Jesus! The one they use against you as a female in your family, and all the female in your family, I command that power that be used against you when you are five years old. I pray in the name of Jesus as you lift up your hands by the order of God, every idolatry power and their right. Over anyone other the son of God through me, that you will shout out that amen. I pray even if there is a connection of idolatry in my root, and I don't know. I prophesy today. By the order of God, we come against that idolatry power. We oh, yeah, are cast fire now. I say cast fire now. I say cast fire now. I say cast fire now. From today, ends for you will no longer be answerable to idolatry name. If your name is linked to idolatry, I pray in the name of Jesus, we keep their power. We destroy their right. We scatter their roots. 
in agreement. When you say amen, please let your amen be agreement. Amen. I pray in the name of Jesus, the right of idolatry, I want this amen to be louder. From today, henceforth, we stand as the oracle of God. We curse it in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. Every idolatry practice against the cross crisis center. I prophesy in the name of Jesus from that place where the power of idolatry gang up together. I pray. Whosoever it offer on here that is raising the fire and the fire of idolatry, burning the incense of idolatry against the cross crusade center, I pray your interest will wither. I declare in the name of Jesus if you refuse to repent, or you meet with the hunger of God. Every idolatry practice in this environment because we are the light in this place. Idolatry practice in this environment. Oh, yeah, die. Anytime you go to your Osoyi, Osoyi will not answer you. Anytime you visit that idol again, I pray that idol will not answer you. Anytime you use some go to person, go lower. Happy your Yahweh, happy your woman Yahweh, happy your best of Bono Yahweh, happy your goody. Every deities, when you call them on assignment, their voice will be silent. I pray, every power that make this place to be polluted with idolatry power, this environment. I pray in the name of Jesus, when you let your right be paralyzed. Every family that present here today, and people watching, and people listening to us, connected to us. Let your family receive the help of God. So shall it be. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Glory. Seven. Hallelujah. Also the Lord. As we go back to our seat. One, two, go.